Hey, good evening. So, as you know, numerical studies have already shown global warming over the last 50 years, especially in the Northern Hemisphere. We also well know that the change is mainly caused by human activities. Uh, our last year kind of paper also showed that climate change causes more droughts and globally. However, if we have a look at the local situation, the change is not necessarily the same. If you really have a look at the figure one, yes, the west coast of the United States does see more droughts, but it's very different in east, eastern United States, including Tennessee. So the precipitation also has an impact on soil moisture. Our recent study also showed reduced soil moisture globally, especially in the northern hemisphere, which is also mainly caused by human activity and uh, greenhouse gases. If we look at the United States, just focus on the United States, these figures clearly show different runoff trend patterns in the United States. Different regions have different patterns. So yes, California will have less water, but not necessary for the Tennessee. As you know, for a plant, it requires sunlight, water, and also carbon dioxide to grow. So you may be surprised that actually our globe is becoming grown, uh, greener, especially for northern hemisphere over years. So compared to the state of California, Tennessee now is more appropriate for agriculture, especially for high value added products like vegetable, fruit, and nuts. However, there are a lot of challenges for this possible transition, such as the lack of labor, culture, experience. So we, the food system is really a complicated system. We need to look at all kinds of aspects from economic, social, climate change, energy, and also agri agriculture management. So there's a huge gap between global studies and also local solutions. So the Institute for our Secure and Sustainable Environment is looking at this kind of gap by studying clean energy and energy efficiency, climate change, sustainable regional system, water resources, and also um, uh, sustainable food. So funded by NSF, we are looking at how to assess regional sustainability for the central Appalachian region. We focus on social systems and also look at people and people needs in this region. So if we look at okay, how to mitigate climate change, we need to uh, look at the major sources for carbon emissions. They are transportation, building, industry, and agriculture. East the Tennessee Clean Fuel Coalition in our institute has already worked on promoting alternative fuel vehicles for 18 years. So they help our region reduce energy consumption equivalent to 10 million gallons of gas and also 81,000 ton of carbon emissions every year for our region, okay? So they, over the whole state, they have already built nine electric drive Tennessee chapters to promote electrical vehicles. So, and also they are targeting at 20,000 electrical vehicles in Tennessee by 2028. Because the success of drive electric Tennessee, so DOE started a new initiative called Drive Electric USA. So the Clean Fuel Coalition is leading this, that initiative in 14 states, and they will add 14 more states in the next phase. So in addition, uh, ICE and also Clean Fuel Coalition will start a new national program for workplace charging. So we want to okay, promote equitable uh, solutions for workplace electrification. Besides uh, EV, also ICE is working on building environment with a uh, gift, cash gift, and also 
um, a sensor system donated by Snight Electric, ICE will build a live lab on campus to look at uh, building environment to conserve energy and also for human health. For industry, so we recently received a grant from DOE to look at how to help small and medium-sized manufacturers in this region, East Tennessee, to save energy and reduce um, carbon emissions. Also, talk about the food. Uh, working together with Oak Ridge, Oak Ridge National Lab, ICE has already mapped the whole supply chain uh, across the United States, uh, representing the flows, energy consumption, and also carbon emissions for all kinds of great food um, commodity types. So ICE is not alone, a unit fighting against climate change. The Office of Research, Innovation, and Economic Development will launch a new initiative called Global Energy Ecosystems. So through this uh, initiative, uh, we will look at the overall life cycle of energy. So Office of Research will do a significant investment over the next five years to make UT and also the state of Tennessee to be a pioneer in the nation for energy research and also uh, for economic development. So I finally, I would want to go back to my presentation title. Climate change is indeed a global issue having local impacts. To mitigate climate change, we do need to have local actions with a global perspective. So thank you so much.